If you send me the location, then I'll be right there. Then make her come check you, my big. No time, no. If you send me the location, then I'll be right there. Then make her come check you, my big. No time, no. If you send me the location. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel and if you're new, welcome. My name is Aisa and I'm really really glad you clicked on this video. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to do these individual passion twists and how I did it. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you like this video, give this video a like of course. And before we get into this video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below. And yeah, let's get right into it. So guys, let's get right into this tutorial. I'm starting on freshly washed hair of course and the first thing I'm gonna do is part the hair now, now this was really difficult like as you can see I parted this section um, on camera and just kind of put the rest of my hair out of the way and then I went ahead and fixed it in my mirror so that's what it looks like now I'm gonna use my shine and jam gel this gel is amazing guys and I'm just gonna put that on the perimeter so I'm starting by putting that on the back first of my head and I'm gonna brush it with my hard soft bristle brush and once that is done I'm gonna go ahead and split that section in two and kind of just put the one section aside so that I can work on the other one and that section I'm gonna be working on I'm splitting it um, in two once again because I'm going to go ahead and braid it down now as you can see like my sections are kind of big in the back but as I go like I'm going to get better and like do smaller section it doesn't really matter because the back like it's not really going to be seen that much but yeah basically I parted the hair I'm using more of that gel to put on the perimeter just to make sure that that part is really defined and I didn't make any mistake or whatever and it looks as best as possible and once I have kind of brushed that through and gelled down the perimeter of that part I'm gonna go ahead and start braiding so this is basically what I'm gonna be doing with my entire head I'm just going to go ahead section off braid section off braid and like I'm saying this part it was kind of difficult because obviously it's hard to kind of see the back of your head but I just wanted to show you guys still on camera and as I mentioned I did go back and look into the mirror to make sure that my parts were good before braiding and I would definitely recommend you to sit in front of a mirror and then have another one behind you because that will just basically make this whole process easier so this is the first section that I braided down. I'm kind of braiding it down. And as you can see, I don't know if you saw that, but basically I braided as much as possible. Like literally I braided almost until the end. And at the end, that's when I twisted the hair instead of doing a braid. So I'm starting off braiding the hair, just like you see me do here. I'm just braiding the hair down as much as possible. And I'm only going to start a two strand twist when basically when I'm almost near the end because usually my twists they get like poofy and get bigger and I don't want it to get too big because I want to be able to pass these braids between my passion twists so basically I'm braiding it down like really really low as you can see and now I'm starting to twist a two strand twist just because the ends don't necessarily need to be like too pretty or too perfect so that's what I'm doing and when I'm done this is what my hair looks like and as you can tell my sections are pretty big but it's okay because it's the back as I mentioned so I went ahead and did the rest of my hair off camera and this is the front section that I have left 
these are, this is like about two rows so what I'm gonna start by doing I'm gonna go ahead and section off that section into my rows I am doing like just trying to do it as perfect as possible and making sure that it's like as straight as possible because this is the front part and I need it to be as straight as possible because this section people are actually like going to see if you know what I mean so I'm just taking my time take your time guys make sure you have a good rat tail comb or whatever you use to part your hair use it and take your time do not rush this process because as I mentioned the front section is what people will see you know so the back section it didn't really matter that much but in the front you definitely have to be very very strategic and very precise you know because you want it to look good you want it to look good and you want the front to like basically stay and as long as possible if that makes sense you know you don't want it to get like messy too quickly so this is what it looks like i'm just kind of fixing it just looking at it and trying to yeah make it as perfect as possible basically <music> I am done and I feel like the part is looking good enough I'm gonna go ahead and put that front section away and I'm gonna start parting the back section just so that I can you know get my sections together and start braiding them so basically as you can see like I'm doing way smaller parts in the front compared to the back section that you guys saw just now and I'm basically using the same technique. I'm parting the hair and then using my gel on the parts just so that it can like be like sleek. And then I'm gonna go ahead and brush that through a little bit and start braiding. So I braid until there's like literally no basically until like the strands of my hair are like really really thin and then after that I go ahead and twist the hair as I told you guys earlier so that's just me doing that here and looking back now I feel like my front sections were like way easier to pass through the braids as you can you'll see later and I think that's because I made those braids like really small compared to the back section so I would definitely recommend you to do them like small you know they don't have to be too small but if they're smaller it's way easier like a hundred times easier so that's what it looks like the end is twisted and basically I'm gonna go ahead and keep doing that all over my that section and just basically continue doing that and yeah that's it's pretty self-explanatory guys and it's pretty sim this part is pretty simple so i'm just gonna let you guys watch
guys so now I finished that back section and I'm moving on to the front section and in this section like you see how when I'm parting it they're kind of like long like they're not really like thick but they're like long sections I don't know if that makes sense but basically like they go back a little further and that is mostly because I could have like parted into another row I guess but what I'm gonna do I'm just going to split those sections into two because like I said the front part I needed to be smaller sections than the back part because this section is what people are gonna see you know so you want it to like look nice so that's me just splitting it into I made those sections a little smaller than the ones in the back and honestly this really helped and you'll see why a little further um, in this video but basically I split those in two and just proceeded to do the same thing so just gel them down and make sure all the hair is like out of my face because now the braids were like going all over the place but basically that's what I'm doing I'm just gelling it down and braiding so it's really self-explanatory and then the fun part is going to start right when I'm done with this and while you're doing this guys I will recommend you know just put on your favorite show your favorite movie and just binge watch that's what I was doing because this process is gonna take you a while especially if you're doing it by yourself like I was so just enjoy you know whatever you want to enjoy um, I don't know what shows are you guys watching right now because I'm definitely I haven't been watching like shows like that recently but this particular day I was actually binge watching on Aaliyah's face on YouTube and I was just watching her vlogs because she has really long vlogs so yeah comment down below like what shows you've been liking to watch or what youtubers you've been liking to watch and stuff like that and yeah we can talk in the comment section down below but basically this is what my hair is looking like and i'm on my last section right now and as you can see i kind of swooped my edges a little bit because i like them to be like swooped and i will be laying my edges but the thing is, you know how some people leave their edges out? If that's what you want to do, you can always leave it out. Personally, I prefer the look when, you know, like all my hair is pulled into each section and the look when there's just like a few of my edges peeping out. So that is why I didn't leave my edges out. But I do see some people, they like to leave their edges out. Personally, that's not my preference. But yeah, that's how I did mine. And this is basically what my braids are looking like. They're looking really good. As you can see, I have bigger ones at the end and smaller ones basically in the front. So this is what the pack came from. This hair is from Leave-In Hair. I will leave all the specs down below. And basically it came with six packs of uh, Passion Twists and a crochet hook and a few of like these little accessories silver accessories so that was really good actually i was really happy about that and in each pack of passion twists there is about 15 twists so you do get a lot of strands for your whole head and i ended up using about like four and a half i do have a small head i used four and a half but I could always go back if I wanted my twist to be thicker and just add some around. And this will definitely be good for anyone if you want to try it. And I just love the twists because they're really bouncy. As you can see, I went ahead and did my entire head off camera. And I'm going to be doing the front section with you guys. Now, I like these twists because they are pre-looped and pre-twisted. That is the key, guys. The fact that it's pre-looped and pre-twisted. So first I'm going to go ahead and take my gel and I'm just going to run that through that entire strand and I'm doing that because I don't want any flyaways. This is really going to help. 
Next, I'm taking that crochet hook and passing it under the braid and basically just going to put my twist in that loop and close the loop and pass it through. Now, once it is through, obviously I'm going to remove the hook and I'm just going to go ahead and pass the twist, the passion twist and my braid through the loop. So what this is what I'm about to do now. I'm just passing my braid and the passion twist through the loop and I'm only going to pass it once. If you want more security, you can do it more than once, but for the front, I would recommend just once so that it looks natural. Now, once I have passed it, now the key here, guys, I did a few in my first few weren't like the best, but I caught the technique. The key is to pass the braid in the first, first, first opening that you see. So that's what I'm doing. Right after the knot, I pass the braid through the first opening. So you're gonna want to hook the braid on the crochet hook and you're gonna hook the ends. And by hooking the ends, it's gonna make it way easier to pass it through. Because if you don't hook the ends and you hook it like a little, like maybe closer to the root, it's gonna be hard to pass it through. So once that is done, I'm passing the hook through the openings of the twist as best as I can. And as much as I can, I'm working in really small sections because obviously this thing is not that big, you know, and you don't want to destroy the entire passion twist. And then I'm going to hook my hair onto the hook, close the hook. And you see it's the end of my hair, my hair and I'm just pulling it through the passion twist. So I'm gonna continue doing that. I'm gonna add a little bit of gel because yeah, as you do that, you know, you'll have to add gel. So I'm adding a little bit of gel, passing my braid through the hook. And as I pass it through the hook, just like you saw me do now, I'm going to scrunch the passion twist up. And this is gonna help so much in disguising the braid guys, because if you don't do this, the braid is kind of gonna be like, you're gonna be able to see it a little bit. So I'm gonna show you guys another twist that I do. It's very, very simple once you get a hang of it. Don't worry, your first twists are kind of gonna look a little weird. So that's why I would recommend to start with the back. But basically I'm passing my braid and the passion twist through the loop. Once that is done, I'm going to take the hook, pass it through the first opening and the hook at the end of my braid and pass it through and then working in small sections I'm basically passing the hook through the small openings and making sure that it all aligns and basically pulling the hair through as I pull the hair through I scrunch the passion twist up and this is gonna help so much in disguising the braid guys like I'm telling you I saw such a difference with the first passion twist I did and the last like half of my head basically by doing this so i'm gonna go ahead and continue doing that make sure you work in small sections that is the key that really really helps and as i go i continue adding gel to my hair just because i don't want any flyaways from my own hair to like come out and yeah this is pretty like self-explanatory it's really really easy some people do like untwisted and twisted themselves so you could always do that if you find it easier but i found that this technique actually worked for me i made it work and i actually really love how it came out and my braids aren't like showing or anything so that's the good thing it was really really easy and pretty simple you just have to like get a hang of it obviously because like i said my first few fashion twists were not you know the best but i got the hang of the technique and now like i think those really look good actually and i really like how they came out so i'm gonna let you guys watch the last one if you guys missed what i said and yeah um it's pretty self-explanatory you guys Also, I forgot to mention, I don't know if you guys see the difference, but 
as I'm doing my hair at the top, I'm literally just hooking the my braid to the hook and just pulling it through. But you're gonna see a little like further down when I get like lower and I only have the ends of my hair, I start to twist it around the hook. And this just helps because that part of my hair obviously is like really thin, you know, because it's the ends of my hair and it's the ends of the braid. So it's just easier for me to like twist it and then close the hook and pull it through. Because if I don't do that, it's just going to keep falling, basically. Like it was a struggle at first, but I figured that out. And this is the end of the look. This is how my hair looks at the end of like basically all my twists. I got all my twists in. Like I said, I can always add some, like go and add some and crochet some if I want it to look thicker, but I think I'll leave it like that for now. Now I'm just going ahead and adding jewelry and this is just gonna, you know, put a little pop to it, make it look a little cute. You know, I always like adding jewelry to my braids, my hair. It just like brings something different to the look. So that's basically what I'm doing now. I'm just going and putting it at random places. And yeah, that's that's basically it. So guys, this is the end of the video. This is how my twists look. I really, really like the look. I've been wanting to do passion twists for forever. Um, I decided to put it a side part because I prefer side part, but there's basically like, you can do so many looks with this. Like I can put it up if I want to and just have it, well, okay. It doesn't look like that nice now, but I can have it up. Um, I can have it a middle part like I had it at the end of the video and yeah I think I might add a little more jewelry but this is basically the end of the video I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope it was helpful if you like it please give it a like if you want to see more hair tutorials and if you want to see any other videos comment it down below but thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to hit the subscribe button to share this with all your friends everyone you know and yeah, I'll see you guys in our next video. Bye, guys.